Now, Ukraine has... Is it true Ukraine has always been this rope that's in the middle of a tug of war between the U.S. and Russia, right? That the Ukraine's always been kind of in the middle between this constant tug of no, war. No, no, I don't think so. I mean, the... the uh, no. No, there's a, there there are differences within Ukraine itself, but in fact, listen. In 1997, Russia and Ukraine signed a treaty uh, a treaty of friendship. In uh, 2010, there was an agreement. Well, first of all, there was an agreement between Russia and Ukraine. Which allow, uh, about dividing the Black Sea Fleet? Is this the Molotov? Treaty? No, 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 oh, no, no. Right, no. Right. That's some. That's something different. Okay. There's one of the one of the Soviet Navy was divided into fleets. There was the Pacific Fleet, the Northern Fleet, the Black Sea Fleet. Well, you know, with the breakup of the Soviet Union, the Black Sea Fleet, which docked at Sevastopol, which is in Crimea. Had you know had to be divided between Ukraine. Oh, Crimea was Ukrainian territory, mm-hmm. and and Russia. And an agreement was reached on that. Uh, you know how the ships and and the facilities were to be divided, mm-hmm. and uh, Russia agreed to lease the port of Sevastopol on Ukrainian territory and to base troops there with Ukraine's agreement. And that, that agreement was renewed in 2010. Okay. Uh, and in 2017, it was again renewed up until 2042. And in 2017, the agreement was, if I recall correctly, that in return for the use of the port facilities, uh, Russia would give Ukraine a discount on gas which is applied to Ukraine. Well, of course, all these agreements became dead letters when Russia just decided to seize Crimea. Right. Uh, because they'd seized... Which was after Maidan, right? That was, right, uh, that was almost like two months after the, the yeah, massacre. They, well, it was after... Yeah, it was after, yeah. after Maidan. Right. It was after Maidan. But so, so the, the president... Um, what was the name of the president? Porosh, uh, Poroshenko. Uh, during uh, the Maidan... Uh, riots. No, but he was not president at that time. Who was the at president the time that was at the time of of the Maidan? Uh, uh, Viktor Yanukovych, Yanukovych was still the president, and he was uh, more of the Russian backed president. The the let's go back real quick. The Orange Revolution. Yeah. Well, that was two thousand four. That, that was, was two thousand four. Yeah. And what was the what was the reason for the Orange Revolution again? The uh, the election of, uh, falsification of the election results and between between Yanukovych, Yanukovych and, and Viktor Yushchenko. Yushchenko, okay, and Yushchenko was the guy who was backed by the U.S. and Yanukovych was the guy who was backed by Russia. Well, it's hard to say. I mean, I think that uh, I think he had a didn't didn't uh, I'm forgetting his name again. The other guy, the guy who was I just said was backed by the U.S. Victor Yushchenko. Yushchenko. His wife worked in... Yeah. I know his wife. I mean, his you wife his is wife. from Chicago, just as I am. Wow. I mean, she's a, for the Ukrainian community in, in Chicago. I, kn- I knew her, actually, before she married him. And didn't, didn't uh, she work in politics in the U.S.? A little bit. She, wor- well, she worked... Um, she worked in... She had a job in the State Department. But I, I, that was not... Uh, I wouldn't attach you know too much importance to that. The real conflict in uh, 2004 was over the integrity of the election result. Because who what was the guy's uh, name that won? Well, Yushchenko won. First of all, the 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 he won because protests forced a new election. Right. He the, didn't, he the, didn't officially win though. The no, reason the first, for the protest. No, the first right. the first in the first round. Or the uh, the uh, originally Yanukovych won, right? But there were signs of massive voter fraud. Mm-hmm. That led to the protests that were known as the Orange Revolution. Uh, the the candidate who lost was Viktor Yushchenko, and the the crisis was diffused. 
finally, with agreement to have an, a new election under tight control, which took place and reversed the, the result of the first election. Mm. Instead of Yanukovych winning, it was Yushchenko who won. Right. The position of the U.S. at that time was that we are in favor of, of, of honest elections, Right. Not so much. Well, isn't it also convenient for the U.S.? And if you look at the history of the CIA, that there was a massive revolution there uh, on the claims of election fraud that the Russian-backed president, the Russian-backed president, actually won, and now there's fraud, and now we're going to have this orange revolution, and the U.S.-backed president is going to be put in. Uh, I, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't overestimate. This is what we always do in the U.S. Uh, we o- overestimate our own importance uh, in the situation. Uh, the thing is that uh, Yushchenko was backed by the Western Ukrainians uh, and Yanukovych by the Eastern Ukrainians. Uh, and the, the uh, I mean, in effect, Yanukovych accepted the result and he then, with the help of U.S. advisors, by the way, including Paul Manafort, uh, prepared to run again, and this time he did win. He was elected. So, because uh, uh, largely out of disappointment with Yushchenko on the part of Ukrainians and his unf- you know, certain unfulfilled promises, which maybe, you know, given the nature of Ukrainian politics maybe he would have had it. he he was well intentioned but maybe he had a a uh he also got poisoned right yushchenko well that came yeah that 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 uh that as well but uh after the after the first round uh when they prepared for the second round uh you know the set you know the the uh, he was poisoned. He was poisoned, and his face was was disfigured. Mm-hmm. And uh, but he won, but he won the the election, and and uh, he, Yanukovych accepted that result. Mm-hmm. And he was advised, including by the U.S. by U.S. people like Paul Manafort, just to prepare for the next election, which he did, and he won that one. Right. How now? How is that first election? How did they redo that? Did they redo the votes? No, they just uh, they just uh, announced new a new election. They would just they just did a whole do, new election. Yeah, do it all over again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and to see, I mean, and uh, it, it would have been po- You know, had there not been all this vote fraud, those the new election might have come up with a result very much like the first one. But the difference. But you know this. The second election was held under under tighter control, mm-hmm. and uh, it it showed that that the winner was Yushchenko, mm-hmm. which is what people were saying all along that that he had won the first time too, mm-hmm. right? And and I, I, that result suggests to me that that was right, that that it was machinations and voter vote fraud that made it possible for Yanukovych to win the first time. Now, when he came back in 2008, he won. Right. And there and, was no voter and, fraud? Well, if there was, both sides, I mean, there, there may have been to some extent, who knows, but both sides accepted the result.